Hello, I'm Douglas Ducote, the founder and CEO of Veterans United for Justice, veteran law enforcement officer, and the co-host of Real World Witness on Blog Talk Radio. This message is directed at Broadwin County Sheriff Scott Israel. First, sir, I'd like to say that your 36 years in law enforcement is commendable. And I thank you for your service. Now, that is the last thing I'm going to say about you that is positive. Because I've tried to find something good to say about you other than that. And your actions in the past few days overshadow all the good that you have done in 36 years. Just soon erase it away. It's pathetic. Let me say that you won't find someone that's more supportive of law enforcement than I am. At the same time, when a law enforcement officer goes bad, goes rogue, does something very stupid, I will be the first person to call them out. I'll be the first person to call for their badge. As I am yours. We watched you. The world watched you. Other law enforcement officers, veteran law enforcement officers, on that CNN hatchet job stage, blaming everybody you possibly could and everything you could, and not taking any responsibility for yourself or your staff. Then today, you took to Twitter, once again, attacking the NRA as if it's their problem. And you said on Twitter, you are not standing up for these students. And you directed that to the NRA. Well, I'm not quite sure if you have some type of a possible mental issue going on. Maybe it's stress related. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but I knew I do know that a man who served 36 years in law enforcement and then comes out in the past week and says some of the stupid shit that's coming out of your mouth, the rest of us look at you as if you're batshit crazy and we can't figure it out. You want to blame somebody? Stop blaming the NRA. Stop blaming conservatives and Republicans and the Trump administration that support the NRA. Stop blaming law-abiding citizens that love our Second Amendment rights and our Constitution and all of our rights. Go look in the mirror, sir. You are the person to blame if there's going to be a blame placed on a human being. Why? Let's see. Your office responded to 31 calls in regards to the shooter, Nicholas Cruz, as being a crazy person that is going to hurt other people, family, and students. And what was done about it? Eight of those calls were directly to his house. Failure number one. Failure number two. At first we were told that you had one of your deputies that was there that uh, 
I guess was a school resource officer and refused to go into the school when the shooting was taking place and engage the shooter to protect the students. No, he was a coward under your leadership. Then we find out he wasn't the only one. Three other of your deputies showed up at that school, drew their weapon and took cover and didn't do a damn thing. Now we find out that the law enforcement that went into the school to try and engage the, the, uh, this freaking nut job and save students' lives was the Coral Springs Police Department. But yet, you want to blame everybody else and not take responsibility for your own actions, your own words, and the actions of your deputies. Now, I'm sure, without a doubt, that you have some outstanding members of law enforcement that serve under you. Just so happens that that particular day, your worst were at that school and responded to that school. I'm retired. If I'd have been near that school, I would have taken my weapon that I carry on me legally and I'd have ran into that school and ran towards the gunfire and stopped that son of a bitch. Because that's what we do. Our job is to protect and serve. That is what we do. You are a disgrace to law enforcement, a disgrace to that uniform, a disgrace to that badge, and you need to turn it in and step aside and go do something else with your life. But law enforcement is no longer part of that. All the good that you did in 36 years, and I've read your bio, you did a hell of a lot of good. Well, your actions and your words in the past week just soon erased all the good that you did. It's absolutely sickening to myself and most veteran law enforcement officers and law enforcement officers to include some that serve under you right now going, what in the shit is coming out of this man's mouth? Trying to blame everybody else. You have the knowledge to know that it doesn't matter if we took a dump truck and put one weapon on that school grounds or a truckload of them and they were loaded. They can't do a damn thing they're not going to kill anyone. You know it takes someone with a mental disorder to pick up that weapon and activate it in order to take lives. But instead, you pander to the left and the liberals and CNN. What a freaking shame. And we know for a fact now that it was all a setup to make Republicans and conservatives in the Trump administration look stupid in the eyes of liberals and Democrats. You go talk to the parents that have come forward and said, we wrote down what we wanted to say in that town hall. And so did our kids and then CNN changed the wording and changed it instead of looking something positive to something negative to blame everyone else. And they refused to be a part of that censorship communist organization. But you don't have a problem with it. Turn in your shit, sir, and resign because you no longer serve and protect anyone. 
That's all I've got to say on the matter. I'm Douglas Ducote. Please join me in saying a prayer for our men and women in uniform, in law enforcement, in the military, our veterans, their families, our president who inherited eight years of shit trying to turn this country around and fix it. And God bless the United States of America. Hope you all have a blessed day.